Hey, Screaming Geek Media here. I am Jerry the Geek. Today we're going to talk about the final installment of the Rocky Knockout Collection on 4K. But before we do, if you like physical media, you know, 4Ks, Blu-rays, DVDs, you know, if you like home theater, just movies in general, uh, please check out my other videos on my channel. Like, subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on. So we're going to talk about the final installment in this uh, Rocky Knockout Collection on 4K. Which, you know, this time out we have uh, Rocky IV. You know, a movie originally came out in 1985. You got Sylvester Stallone returning, Tyler Shire, Burt Young, Carl Weathers. Uh, Tony Burton, who is, uh, plays Duke, who was Apollo's trainer throughout. And the cool thing is, I mean, both him and Burt Young is, was in all six Rocky movies. So that's kind of a cool, cool fun fact. Um, adding to the mix, we got uh, Bridget Nielsen and uh, Dolph Lundgren. Of course, uh, Stallone directed it again. Another great sequel. I mean, when you look at the whole franchise, I've said before, I mean, I actually I love every movie in the franchise. I don't dislike any of them. But, I mean, always because of process of elimination, you're always going to have the least. This one, I think, I, everybody else will say, usually Rocky Five usually gets everybody's list of being the least favorite. But for me, I think it's this one that just... In my opinion, I think it has the weakest story, you know, as far as deep, you know, character development and all that. But, uh, but, I mean, it's still a great movie. And here we have the director's cut, which is called uh, Rocky vs. Drago, which uh, Stallone actually went and re-edited and took stuff out, put stuff in, rearranged scenes, different angles. I mean, he did quite a bit to this. Movie-wise, I'm... Um, I was disappointed with the director's cut. I just think, you know, I'm sure, like, the whole the robot scenes and the theatrical version, yeah, it's kind of corny, but it is what it is. It you know, made it fun at the time. And he removed everything with a robot in it. He removed some stuff that had his, from his son. Some poly stuff was removed. Other stuff that was added... I think just kind of took away with the flow. It just it just didn't feel right. Just you know the stuff he put back in wasn't needed. Other uh, some uh, dialogue from uh, Drago added a lot about from that. And I think that kind of took away from his character because he was just basically you know, was made up to be this machine and destruction. And then just some of the extra dialogue they gave him, I just kind of took away from that in my opinion. The opening, man, I'll, I had a scan because when the movie started, the you know, director's cut, basically they, revi they revisited number three, and I bet the whole good seven minutes of the opening of the movie is footage from number three. And I'm like, we just watched it. Why do we have to rehash all this shit? Where, you know, the theatrical version just shows the very end and then a... a Apollo and Rocky doing a little fight, you know, clo behind closed doors. This one adds all this extra stuff that's just not needed. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. Now at the end, with his speech after the final fight, dialogue of the speech was uh, changed up quite a bit. As every movie, they kind of, they do a bit, you know, start a montage and they freeze the actual frame. And that's when they show Rocky, you know, they pause the picture with him being held up and got the flag around him. Then it goes into, kicks into the song Burning Heart and montage and then the movie's over. The, the the director's cut actually keeps going and instead of Burning Heart, they switch and play Eye of the Tiger from the number three, which is kind of weird. And the, but there is one, the one saving grace I thought at the end when he actually walked over through the, all the people that was in the ring, you know, walked up to Drago as far as uh, showing respect, which, you know, the Rocky character has always been all about respect. So that was kind of cool that he put that in there. But overall, I just did not like the director's cut. I doubt I'll ever watch it again. It just didn't flow right for me. But enough of the movie. You know, we'll talk about the 4K release. You know, it's part of this knockout collection. You know, this set just came out a couple of weeks ago at the end of February. It's not available individually yet. Um, it is coming out on a Best Buy Steelbook on uh, March 21st. 
Hopefully later this year after number five and six come out, maybe they'll come or they'll reissue all of them individually with slip covers. I know a lot of you out there love slip covers and and you know I I don't I don't really give a shit. I hate slip covers. Now as far as the video presentation, um, very well done. It's nice. Uh, it's a very nice upgrade over the Blu-ray. Some really good textures, some good details. Um, the HDR10 with an Adobe Vision, you know, adds quite a bit. Some really good pops of color. Even like when Rocky is getting off the plane in Russia, and when they show a close up and you see his hat he's got on, the textures of the hat you actually see specks of color within it. When they drop him off at the cabin, when uh, they all get out of the car and the Russians talking to him, telling him about how everything's ready for him, the coat he's got on, the texture and patterns and it really pop on it very impressive now the visual of and this is all oh, i just talked about this is all the theatrical cut now the director's cut actually bumps it up they actually whereas the rest other the first three transfers plus the theatrical of this there wasn't a whole lot of polishing done to it i don't think they did a whole the first one i think i still think was the best but the director's cut here you could tell they actually went in and they polished it up. It's a little bit more refined. The color timing is a weird thing here. It's actually, it's got a cooler tone, which is actually nice. I, I do like the, the tone of it more than the theatrical. I talked in the previous reviews how the Blu-rays were more warm, had the you know reds and oranges a little bit more saturated compared to the 4Ks. Now this, the 4K theatrical, seemed uh, a little warmer compared to the Blu-ray, which is kind of odd. But the theat or the director's cut, I mean, it actually they well, it actually has that cooler look. So it's kind of a mixed bag with the color timing here. It's kind of off, but that cooler uh, tone, I think, actually felt a little bit more natural. So visually, I I liked the director's cut more. But yeah, comparing with the Blu-ray, I mean, again, you got you know some really good upticks, a lot, you know, really nice upgrade from the Blu-ray to the 4K, and the director's cut, you know, a step above that. Everything's more polished. So here, you know, take uh, check out some screenshots comparing to Blu-ray and the 4K, and also I threw a few screenshots in of the director's cut as well, comparing because it has a different uh, aspect ratio. Because the original cuts were a 185 to 1, the director's cut is 235 to 1, so you kind of lose a little bit on the top and bottom. So, you know, check those out. We'll come back in a couple of minutes and we'll talk about the audio packaging and the bonus. Well, so we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Now for the audio here, they gave us a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 and a 2.0 for the theatrical cut. 
Now the director's cut actually has just a 5.1. They didn't put a stereo track with it. Again, a, a nice, as with the rest of them, this is a nice solid audio track. Um, well balanced across the front. Your ambience and some separation, you have a little bit more in here. Um, one particular scene I really noticed was really cool is uh, when they're starting, getting ready to start the Apollo and Dry Girl fight. And they're in there and uh, the ring announcer and he uh, says, you know, for the, come to the main event. And he says, two great athletes. And right away, you hear off in the right front speaker, you hear someone in the crowd going, one great athlete. And then you start hearing some different um, cheers from the crowds coming from the different speakers. So that was really cool. You can actually hear that on uh, both versions on the 4K. Now, a little bit of difference between the uh, theatrical and the director's cut as far as audio. The theatrical is a little bit more brighter, the audio, as far as the sound. Where the director's cut felt a little bit more robust. It wasn't as bright, it had a better balance as far as it had some little bit more bass in the music. That was the main difference as far as music, I think as far as dialogue goes. The real, I didn't really notice any difference between the two versions. And of course, you know, the score, it was weird. Uh, Bill Conte did the score for the first three Rockies, but this one was done by Vince Dicola, which is kind of odd. I don't know why they picked someone different. I don't know if, I'm not sure what the issue was. Because number Rocky 5 and 6, Bill Conte came back and did the scores for those. So why he didn't do the score for this one, I don't know. So on all the audio track on uh, both these versions on the 4K, very well done, impressive. Now for the package, and again, like the others, I did in the videos, I'm not going to open this up, but you know, it comes with a slip case, and all the movies are in this uh, one keep case. Now for the bonus, we have quite a bit here because we have a whole separate disc of bonus features. We have 8mm home movies of Rocky, which has a commentary by director John Avidson, which he, you know, he directed the first one. A lot of the bonus features here are um, geared toward uh, the first Rocky. Uh, we have three rounds with Lou Duva, which is he's an actual uh, boxing coach, you know, trainer. Uh, we have Steadicam, then and now with uh, Garrett Brown. He was actually the inventor of the Steadicam camera. Makeup, the art and form with uh, Michael Westmore. Uh, Staccato, a composer's notebook with Bill Conte talking about doing a music score for Rocky. Uh, the Ring of Truth uh, has a interview with uh, art director James Spencer, a tribute to Burgess Meredith, you know, talking from the different uh, cast members, talking about actor Burgess Meredith. Uh, and then we have a nice little short thing called uh, Stallone Meets Rocky. It's kind of funny, just one a few minutes long. Finally, we have the making of Rocky vs. Drago, Keep Punching. It's a, I'm not sure how long it is. It's a fairly long documentary talking about the making of uh, the director's cuts. I only watched a little bit of it. It's kind of dry, and I started getting bored with it. Um, there was a lot of there was good some good info I'm throwing in there, but I couldn't make it through it, so I actually turned it off. But there's definitely a lot of stuff there you might find interesting. And finally, we have uh, some trailers, which we actually have a trailer for every movie, including uh, Rocky vs. Drago. So to wrap it up, a nice solid uh, outing for Rocky IV. Both the theatrical and director's cut look incredible. You know, definitely, like I said, the director's cut's more refined. I mean, it was all brand new. They did a little bit more remastering with it. Again, it's only available with this set at the moment, which is, uh, it's running right around the $53, $54 mark. So it's pretty nice. It's a decent deal for the set. You're getting, you know, four movies, five if you include the director's cut. But you get all that for a decent price. Again, uh, Best Buy exclusive Steelbook is coming out March 21st. It's going to be about 30 bucks. So hopefully the standard editions will get individual release later this year. We'll have to wait and see. So that pretty much does it for my look on our Rocky IV on a 4K. Coming up, I'm going to do a kind of overall review of the whole set and my final thoughts. On, so uh, look out for that. So check out my other videos on my channel. Like, subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on. And we'll see you soon. Geek out.